shiny happy people. So my name is Kim, welcome to Kim's Crafts, and I'm making this video just to show you my exact boxes and the exact way I set them up. Um, I offered to do this and someone did respond that they would like to see my boxes. So I'm gonna go through each one, there's five of them, and I'm going to stay on them for a decent amount of time so you could pause it, maybe take a photo, if um, you know that'll be helpful, and then you can refer back to it. So this box, this we'll call this box one. I did not number them, but you know if that's going to be easier for you, you can do that. Um, so we'll call this box one, and this is my triangle letters, numbers, and crosses box. Okay, so triangles take up the whole left side here. Every row here is in triangles. And then um, we have, I put letters in alphabetical order, uh, unless they had, I used multiple boxes. But again, I said in the last video, I'm, I'm not going to plan for extra space for uh, bags that have more drills than others, okay? I'm not going to plan for that because it's unnecessary. So, um, in that case, I would just do it in alphabetical order. Okay, so it would be A, B, C, G, E, G, H, I, I, and then K would start here, blah, blah, blah. Then uh, we only had four numbers, so I did letters, numbers, and then I did anything with crosses. And again, I'm gonna um, just reiterate my one rule that I followed. And there is a time when I actually did not follow that rule and I'll go over that. But the rule that I uh, made for myself when I was categorizing these is if there were two symbols in a square, such as there's multiple ones in this box here, just to show you uh, this one here, where it's a square with a cross in the middle, I chose whatever was in the, in the center. Okay, so whatever my eye went, which my eye goes to the center majority of the time. So this one uh, ended up in crosses as opposed to squares. And so did uh, these triangles because they're, they're actually triangles with inside a square. But, um, you know, I look at the triangle. So we have all triangles, whether they're inside something or not. And then, and... I also put, I could have put these uh, as like this one too, as V's um, over here, but this, I just use this one as the actual letter V. And I just looked at these as open triangles. So anything that was like, looked like it was just an open triangle, I categorized in triangles. Okay. Um, so that is my box one. And what I did was I did write out the numbers big for you. If you wanna take a picture of that, and that corresponds to um, the way they lay out. So this paper would lay out directly on top of the boxes here. Um, and I did skip the, uh, like I skipped, I'll just show you again and I'm gonna stop moving it. I skipped any box that had no number on it, okay? So this is C, 3848. So it corresponds identically, okay? So there you go. It's just because the numbers are small. So I just wanted to make them a little larger for you. So you can take a picture of that if it's helpful or pause it here and just write them all down. Um, and yeah, so that is box one. Okay, triangles, letters, numbers, and crosses. Okay, so here's box two. And this box is my transportation. Transportation ends here. And then circles. 
and then use the letter U shaped ones and then weather. And this one was an extra. Uh, I, I needed a space where I could put two, I filled all of these up again. Again, I'm not doing that. So I would have put this under tools cause it's a, like, it's a gear. So I would have put this under tools if I did not need all of this space. I didn't have room under tools to, to leave eight containers empty. Um, so in transportation, uh, I just wanna show you, I added a briefcase because you pack to go <laughs> to to go away. Um, I have like keys for you know vehicles or whatever, and then a stoplight. I did the paper airplanes all here, a car, spaceship, and then this is actually like a road with like a bridge over it. I think at least that's what I took it as. So I put it in transportation. Okay, and then again. The U's are all pretty self-explanatory. Here I did like, it's a shooting star, a regular star, the moons, another like sun, another moon. And then this one I did not follow the rule for and I, and I just wouldn't because it does have an arrow in the middle, number 517. But the thing that catches my eye is the cloud. It's huge, it's white, it takes up half the symbol. So that went under weather. And then you see I have like a cloud with the sun behind it and then a lightning bolt. So again, transportation, circles, and then in the circles, it's just, I think, pretty self-explanatory. It's all just round. This, it looks like a fishing bob or an ornament. Um, yeah, just, this one um, has a line through it and there's another one with the line going the other way and I put it under lines. So technically this one probably should have gone under lines and I didn't even realize I did that until I needed the color. So um, that was a mistake on my part. So I would put this under lines. I know where it is because I've been using it, but if I follow my rule, that should have gone under lines. All right, and then here's all the numbers. And that's box two, guys. Okay, guys, here's box three. Box three is my square slash diamond box. Um, and that is takes up the entire left side. And then the first three rows are my miscellaneous. And then the bottom five rows are all people, body parts, and faces. Okay, so anything to do with um, the human body. Okay, so for squares, I did do anything that was half of a square. So these are, are partial squares. This is um, three sides of a square. This one is three sides of a square. This one is three sides of a square. And then these are all, you know, partial squares. Um, this one, I also, I still look at it and I think square. Uh, so anything that jumped out as square to me, this makes a cube. This is a funny um, square. This is like a die, but it's a square. So, um, and then these is these two are squares to me. Um, again, if something does not make sense to you, obviously you do what you need to do. Uh, the, these three here, they're the diamonds, and I put the diamonds with the squares because they're basically squares just turned on the side. Um, for miscellaneous, I have the biohazard, I have the telephone receiver, which I could not figure out what in, the, what in the world it was, but a lot of my subscribers informed me that it was a telephone receiver, and now I can see it. 
So I would have put that in under technology if I knew what the heck it was. Then a castle. And this one, now I can see is a train on a tr I think, right? Is it a train coming at you on a track? I don't know. Maybe it's not. I have no idea. So that's why it's in miscellaneous. And this could have gone in diamonds here, but I just put that in miscellaneous. And I know it's there. I mean, it's the only thing that's like that. Uh, percent sign, a lock, um, music note, an oil tank, I guess, a conversation box. I have no idea. And then that just doesn't fit into anything. So these are my miscellaneous. And then I have the eyeball, the Pac-Man, the faceless little man, the sad face, the whole body person, two feet, one foot. I call this alien face. I call this lion face, sideways Pac-Man, and then the hand. Okay, and... Here are the corresponding DMC numbers. Okay. Um, here we have box four and um, in this box I have tools all take up the entire left side and then I have lines which come down to here and then the no actually here and then the the last six boxes is food and um, drink under tools I put fire um, this is a fishing bob, so I, there, there, there was a Christmas ornament that I put under circles, but I put a fishing bob under tools, uh, a bomb, weights, flags, pickaxes, swords. I looked at that as, a, another pickaxe, scales, um, you know, tools, uh, wrenches, uh, hammers, a megaphone, a microphone, the volume button, and then I don't know if that's a vacuum cleaner. I don't know what that is, but I looked at it as a screwdriver. Um, this I looked at as like, a, how do you use, like a bar graph, so a graph. And then I just said, this looks very similar to that, although I don't know if this is a piano or what, but I guess that's a piano, but I looked at it as, another graph, so I put them next to each other, and then a paintbrush or a paint roller. So that's all the, the tools, and then the lines, and again, these one, the, the, this whole row here, uh, the middle one, uh, what's in the middle of this is a line, again, another line, a line, and a line, and that's where that other one, where it went the opposite way, should have gone here, but I, I didn't even catch on to that, that I had two of those. Um, until, like I said, I was actually diamond painting. Um, and then these are all similar with the lines and these two steps and then these two like partial hashtags. And then we have the martini glass, a goblet or a trophy, apple, apple, coffee. And I don't, really know what this is like is that a usb or i just was like that looks like a piece of bread so i i know that that's in food so that's my box my my fourth box technology or i'm sorry i apologize tools lines and food and drink okay so i'm just gonna let that roll for a second Okay, and then here's the corresponding DMC numbers. Okay. 
one more box to go. All right, guys, this is the fifth and final box. And it's funny, I, I grabbed the boxes randomly and I saved the one with the trash at the, <laughs> for the last. So it looks like it's actually my last box. But um, we have on the left side, I have technology up until here and then office and then arrows up until here and then nature, okay? So for technology, I have, I think that looks like, like I don't know, maybe an iPod or something, and then a can like a cell phone, two different types of cameras, two different types of batteries, uh, a monitor, a floppy disk, if you're old enough to know what that is, <laughs> three types of plugs, a water spigot. I looked at this as a clock, satellite, um, and and I don't know why, but that just said sound or satellite to me too, so I put that there. Uh, a lamp and then a video camera. And then in office I have paper, a notepad, a thumbtack, that's like a book that's like open the picture uh, icon, uh, another sheet of paper with writing on it, and then um, an hourglass turned sideways. So that's my office. And then arrows, and again, going with my rule, arrow in the middle of a square. So it went under arrows. This, um, I look at like a volume up and down arrow. So I put that there and I think these arrows are pretty self-explanatory. They all have the arrow at the end. This one is a full circle. This one, these are half circles. And then nature, I have two types of trees, a flower and two types of clovers. And I have no idea how the soccer ball ended up in this. <laughs> it was just pure exhaustion. Um, I would put this in circles. Okay, so I'll let you guys have a peek at that for a little bit. And then here are the corresponding DMC numbers. That's my pug sleeping. All right, so that's all I had for you tonight. Um, if there's a better way that I can show you this, it, that or if there's something else you wanna see, please do not hesitate to ask. You can always email me if you want me to, I don't know, take like a photo of this stuff. Um, you can email me at Kimba's Crafts, Kimba's Crafts at Gmail, and I will, take photos of that and uh, email them to you if that's easier. Uh, so just let me know how I can help you out. Um, and that, that's all I have for you today. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And uh, if you wanna see more from me, you can hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great evening. You guys take care, keep diamond painting.